These are really expensive scarves, but I love them because I get to wear them so many different versatile ways and I'm gonna show you exactly how. Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Amy if you're new here. And here is my current collection of Hermes scarves. And yes, I'm the crazy scarf lady. I'm still gonna add more probably as we speak. So if you're in a rut and you don't know how to wear your scarf, I'm gonna show you all the ways that I have kind of experimented. You know, some of them I came up by myself. Some of them I saw somewhere and tried to replicate it. And these are my favorite ways. There are some differences in terms of the material. It also maybe varies from season to season. The majority of their scarves have this um, slightly stiffer, more robust and more substantial feel. Almost like noisy material. Uh, it almost is like a very soft nylon. But they also have this slightly softer robust silk. So it's still a good silk, but it just feels maybe slight, ever so slightly thinner. I'm not sure if it's even the thinness uh, that makes it that way, but it definitely has more of a of a delicateness versus the the more it almost even feels heavier. I was told anyway uh, by a subscriber that they have like summer silk versus winter silk. So maybe that's why. There's a third kind and it's called the wash scarf. So this one does have a name. They don't make wash scarves so often. But the main difference between a wash scarf and their regular silk scarf is that these ones have to be dry cleaned and these ones can be hand washed. These have already been hand washed by an artisan. You are paying a slight premium for these, especially for that reason is that they are um, hand washable and also they are even more delicate, like they have that flow to them and they don't have that noisy nylon noise, if that makes sense. Again, it's not nylon. If you own these scarves, you're gonna know what I mean. Anyway, let's move on. One of the simplest ways, and it doesn't matter which type of scarf you use, um, but I will say if it is a stiffer material, you just really have to like grab it and just go for it, right? That's, that's all you have to do. Like the more you use a scarf, especially if it's on the stiffer side, the more it will loosen up. That's the only trick I don't have, uh, I don't have like a magic trick for you. You just really have to use them. A wash scarf is so beautiful for that reason. They just really, really drape and they are so delicate in a good way. Like see how drapey it already is. It doesn't have as much of a resistance, but I'll show you both ways. One of the simplest ways that I still love and that you really don't have to think about is just fold it in a triangle. So diagonally and just do this, go around your neck tie it up. I like to just give it a little knot because it stays more secure on my neck and that's it. It's it's really pretty. Not every scarf is like this one where the pattern is pretty much um, like like similar on all four corners. Some of the scarves you will see is almost like a drawing, is like a painting like this one. So each corner, like this one I'll have more white so you want to find the best way to fold it so that you display exactly what you want. And so like for this one, for example, I might want um, like I might want more of the flowers to display. Even though this scarf is technically stiffer and of course I'm doing it really quickly on camera. I don't have a mirror in front of me, uh, but you get the idea. It's still just as versatile, you just really have to go for it. Don't worry about the stiffness, just to really scrunch it up to your needed and desired volume. And it's so comfortable. This is one of the best ways to keep your neck warm in the winter season. Another way that I love, love, love doing is almost have it as a little drape. You could leave it as is, of course, but it might kind of come off your shoulders. It might get annoying. So I love to just give it a, a good tie, like right here. Alternatively, you can buy one of these, which is their scarf ring, and just instead of doing a knot, use a scarf ring and pull it through. You can even adjust the height. It's just a, like a, a little bit of a cleaner look. Uh, and also a scarf ring also adds a little bit of like a hardware to your whole look. The only um, thing that I will caution you about scarves rings is that don't spend 
too much money going crazy buying too many of them because I do find that with accessories like this um, especially if you tend to remove your scarf and your accessories like I'm talking gloves hats and things like that if you tend to remove them often you will lose them so I only bought one and this one is more than enough for all the different looks. Let me show you some more intricate ways to wear these as tops, not just as scarves. So how I'm wearing it right here right now is quite simple actually. I literally just came up with this idea right before filming this video. I was like, oh, I kind of felt like wearing it this way and you just make it work, right? So I suggest that you grab a scarf with a more universal pattern, not like a drawing, although do what you want, but I feel like this way, uh, the best way to display the scarf is if your scarf is quite symmetrical. So you want to take your 90 centimeter scarf, grab one edge and tie a knot. So this is part of your halter neck, just like this. So this is part of your halter neck. You can fix the V neck later, but essentially it will just be a nice drape. And all you need to do is literally just grab the other end, the other edge, fold it around your waist and tie it. So you see that little tie here? That's what's happening. The rest of this bottom part of the scarf can be tucked into any pants, any skirts, and you're done. That's all. It's really easy. Uh, always use a belt to really like cinch in everything. And it's so comfortable as well. It's like probably one of the most comfortable ways of wearing the scarf. And it's secure, it's nice, it's elegant. So the first outfit which I wore constantly in Hawaii. It's a really, really simple top, but it does require you to tuck it into something. So in my case, a skirt and also cinch it in with a belt. So here is my 90 centimeter scarf. And this is the robe légère pattern. You may want to just look at your scarf and see which way you want to display. So for me, I really like how the tail looks like because it's just like a nice stripe of flowers. And I decided to wear this across like this, but you could very well be wearing this way if you want it more plain or this way if you want to show kind of uh, the head of the horse. So what you do or what I did <laughs> is I picked the two ends from one edge and I just tied it around myself right here to make it into my asymmetrical top and that's almost it in fact if you really wanted to if you have a slip dress which I was contemplating doing um, you could just technically cinch it in at the waist with your belt and it actually becomes your dress which is why I'm such a big fan of the Stella skirt because it's elasticated and you can wear a belt over the top of this elastic okay so you just want to pull the back and the front so that they overlap and so it's not going to completely hide your armpit area um, so what I've been doing in Hawaii is I just wear a little bralette and voila this is basically one of my most new favorite way of wearing this scarf because it's just so comfortable it's so airy and it's just perfect for tropical weather i have not shown this way yet on my channel i've decided to use this scarf which is the beach scarf so cute it has so many vibrant colors there are a few ways to do it you can just sort of tie a knot like that and tie it around your neck like this so you would knot it again in the back however this way you do lose a bit of real estate because you're essentially losing a bit of the fabric from the knot here it does bunch it up a little bit more another way where you just twist it and then do it like this however if you own a scarf ring i would say this is probably the best way you want to grab opposite sides of your scarf so diagonally, you want to grab opposite sides because that becomes your halter neck area. And you want to put it through the scarf ring. So instead of tying the knot, 
you're actually using the scarf ring. This becomes my halter neck portion and I'll just tie a knot in the back. Here's my halter neck portion and I have the knot in the back as you can see. I can fix my hair now or later, it doesn't matter. So now you're left with the rest of the fabric which you can pull and manage. You want to drape around your body so you want to pull the the fabric nicely sort of pull it taunt around your chest area right here and tie a knot so it's that simple you can also tuck it into your shorts like i said alternatively if you don't have a scarf ring you can just tie a knot or you can just twist it so the easiest way to demonstrate this is just leave that knot there and now you can just twist the scarf a couple times or one time, whatever. <laughs> and now you have effectively sort of like that twist there and you can just pull the rest of your scarf taunt, drape it around your body and tie it. But I love the fact that I get to use my scarf ring because it's just another way of using the scarf ring for more things. One of my favorite ways to wear the scarf, which I have shown in the previous video, I will link it up here. Feel free to rewatch it because there will be other ways that I shown in that video, which I will not show in this video again. Essentially, you want to tie the same knot diagonally on the scarf. And now, instead of twisting your scarf, you don't have to twist, you just have to pull and tie. And that is the nice thing about this top is that you get to display a lot of the original design. And that is what I love about this one because it didn't matter if you use this way or the other way, it will look more or less the same. So it's really up to you which way you wanna display. But this is one of my favorite ways of wearing this particular scarf because I just love the pattern where you just really drape it on your body and there's no bunching of the fabric. Another very stunning way that I love to wear, you can basically choose which color you wanna display on your scarf. So let's say you have a green top underneath and you want to use the green on your scarf to further accent your green top. So you just kind of have a look at your scarf, like this one has a lot of colors, but it does have some green here and there. So what you wanna do is think about how you wanna fold it now. So maybe you can just go ahead and do the point into the middle and do the same on the other side and then fold it in half. So that's what we've got here. We just fold it in the corner into the middle and folded it in half. So on this side of the scarf, we see more of the green. There's green here, green here, green here. So you want to find a way to drape it around your neck. So let's just kind of do this. You want to find a way to drape it around your neck such that it shows some of the green. It doesn't have to be all of them, but just find the place that has the most green. Probably this, this one right here. And so what you want to do, or one of the ways that I love wearing this scarf, is the asymmetrical wear. I, I don't know if that's how you call it, but um, almost slightly shorter on one side. That's the side that I want to just knot it. And here I just want to preserve the green from the fish area. So I just want to hold it like that. So you want to tie a knot, but I want the end of this scarf to kind of go opposite of this end, cross it over first, and then tuck this one from underneath so that it pulls out from this side. So now you want to secure it on this side. So now you have this end but going the opposite way of this. And essentially I've just created an asymmetrical scarf but still displaying what I wanted to display which is the little bit of green here. And if there's more on any of the other side, you can just sort of fix it. But I guess it's tucked in here. So we'll just work with the little bit of green here. So assuming we have a green top. And now you've essentially got a little asymmetrical scarf. If you want this to be shorter, you can just move it. It's so easy. 
See, you can just make it like this, like a little cute little asymmetrical wear, or you can just pull it even more. Let's say you're going out and you're, it's really windy outside, just pull it more. Put your jacket on several different ways of folding the scarf into a neat little bondo i suppose fold it kind of one-thirds of the way and do the same thing on the other side fold one-thirds of the way so that way you can fold it in again and this way you fold it in again and then in half and that way you get kind of like a nice little bondo situation and it really is flat to further accentuate your top. So you can just pretend this is part of your top and tuck it into whatever you are wearing, wear a belt to really cinch it in. And this can become part of your really simple top. Like I can technically wear this tank top with this scarf. You can definitely make it slightly wider like this. It doesn't have to be a little strappy tank top. It can be a long t-shirt, a short t-shirt. I think it's so super cute and I, I love it. Depending on the different patterns, it will look completely different. So this is a completely symmetrical pattern, just two different tones. And it's just the best way to basically fold it into a symmetrical little bondo, wear it as a little bondo. It's so beautiful because it's symmetrical. Whereas when you get something like a nice drawing like this, then it will look a little bit more random depending on how you drape it on your body. Sometimes when you just browse the different scarves on the website, they are displaying the scarves worn in different ways. I don't have that scarf ring, although I'm kind of attracted to it now. Um, tied around your neck and just use your scarf ring right here. You honestly don't really need all the scarf rings in the world. Just buy one or two that you really like, maybe in two different hardwares because I just achieved the exact same thing, but using a different scarf ring but the exact same way that she was wearing it so this is a cute way to really keep your neck warm another way that i found on a brand new scarf i figured out how she did it it just looks a really like a really fun way of wearing it so you want to hold the triangle around your body one end of the triangle drape it around one side of your chest and this around the other side of your chest and tie it like this. It's a little bit too revealing for me, but I thought it was super cute on the model. Obviously, these models are extremely thin, so it, uh, it really works on them, but I doubt I will be wearing it like this anytime soon <laughs> but it's a cute way and if you're really really thin this might be a way that you want to try so another way that i love wearing this is just as is but of course i will also use my scarf ring right here and it's super pretty after you're done watching this one go back to my first one because there are still things that i mentioned there that i won't be showing here uh, since this is more of an update and also just my more recent ways of wearing my scarf every time there is a new design that i absolutely love i will go crazy and almost buy all of the colors well i try anyway they're not always available but i am that big of a fan of their scarves and that is why i have a very quickly growing collection the more i find out new ways of wearing them i will just keep you posted on my instagram or maybe on a short so stay tuned for more future ways and for more new scarves unboxing if you're new to my channel again my name is amy and i would love to have you back so please do subscribe i also do exclusive members only live stream i would love for you to join i'll have all the links down below thank you so much for watching have a great day and i'll talk to you guys again very soon bye